One, you communicated that um, having vision is important, whether that's you're mentoring someone or you're communicating capabilities to coworkers and contractors. And I agree, you know, it's very hard to follow someone who is not looking a couple steps ahead because you're constantly bumping into the back of them. <laughs> you know, it's sort of a funny way to think about it. But when someone is like way looking up way ahead, you can just follow them, follow them, follow them, follow them. And so being visionary really helps people support you. Now, being visionary is different than what a mission would be. A mission is something very tactical. This is what we're doing every day, whereas vision is what we hope will happen because we do it. So mission might be, these are the steps we're taking. Vision might be so that we can get to that place. Okay, so that's why those two hang out so beautifully. And they also tend to inspire people. And that way, when you play sort of creative games, like what kind of animal are you? People are not like, well, what's the end of this? You're like, look, I'm trying to create a culture where we all work together for these reasons. And if we know each other better and understand our personalities, we're gonna be able to collaborate better. Well, that's visionary to think about where you're gonna take the business and what it's gonna, and who's gonna be involved in, in accomplishing that objective. So what's super cool about what you did with all the animals and giving everybody the power to choose that animal and name that animal is we actually know from scientific research that when you ask people very straightforward questions like, what is your personality? They have a really hard time answering the question. But when you put them in what is basically an avatar situation, create this video game character or make a collage with these parts or pick an animal, people have no problem. Oh, I'm a giraffe. I'm a giraffe because giraffes only make friends, you know? Okay, fine. Well, there you go. There's a personality trait. You're a friendly person. So it's kind of an interesting game to play, but it's really powerful. If you're the visionary, you're trying to unlock people and get them to participate in the vision, giving these sort of like, sort of like tangential analogs, like, well, this is kind of the framework, gives them safe space to see themselves and to use other characteristics, other forms to uh, articulate who they are and how they feel. So I love that. Next thing is that you talked about how we are all entrepreneurs. I could not agree more. And I don't care if you work for a company that employs 50,000 people, the world works differently now. And therefore we must all be entrepreneurial in our job. You know, Ashley and I might both be founders. And so you're calling us entrepreneurs, but that doesn't mean that you by our side can't be entrepreneurial, helping us change processes, helping us better serve clients, help us solve for new products and services. So I do try to communicate to all my students that it is your job not